Hi, I'm John Mitchell, and this is another installment of the Mayor's Weekly Update. So I wanted to talk about a couple of things as spring is breaking here in the city. It's about time, as we all know. Uh, this week we announced renovations, uh, long overdue renovations to the Elm Street Garage. The Elm Street Garage was built a little over 40 years ago downtown, and it's a, as municipal parking garages go, it's a really big structure, and it, it is a useful asset. It's very hard to, to build such things again uh, these days. Uh, but it needs, as I think we all know, it needs to be updated. Um, it looks a little worn. There is, like any other big building, it needs to constant maintenance. And we also know that given the parking constraints in the downtown as a result of the growth in the downtown, uh, we need a uh, garage, a main municipal garage that is welcoming and perceived to be safe. And so we are undertaking with the help of both um, a federal grant and the funds that we get through parking receipts, a major renovation, the first real major renovation of that garage since it was built. It's going to be at the end of the day about a little over a five million dollar project, but it's going to do a number of things. It's going to make the, the building more structurally sound. It's going to uh, renovate entirely, give a big facelift to the, the lobby and the entryway so they look a lot more inviting and it's gonna be all lit up. Uh, we want that garage, we want people to say that's a safe garage, we want people to go in there and feel comfortable when they go out downtown or when they park uh, to go to work uh, in the downtown. And so it's, it's, it's long overdue, but there are lots of folks that have been working on it over the last few years, and I think, I think it's gonna be terrific, and, and, uh, and I can't wait for it to be done. It's, uh, the first phase will take about a year, it's gonna take a little bit of time to do, but we wanna get it done right. So that's happening, that's another really big downtown project that is going to really, I think, help a lot of the downtown businesses and relieve uh, parking and make uh, part of some of the parking pressure and also uh, make our downtown feel safe. Uh, the other thing I want to talk about today is uh, Operation Clean Sweep. Uh, Operation Clean Sweep has, has been uh, in place for a number of years now and they do a fabulous job mustering up volunteers to go directly into neighborhoods and do uh, do a cleanup. Uh, this weekend their, their job was to uh, clean up in the, the lower north end so that uh, especially in the areas around Cogsall and Beetle and North Front Streets uh, an area that uh, needs some help in the way of cleanup and so I really want to thank them for uh, all of their hard work. It, it is, they set such a great example of what all of us can do in the way of just getting our properties uh, clean up and looking out and, and, and putting litter in its place. We can't say it enough. The city's made a lot of progress in becoming uh, cleaner. I think the trash program that we, that we implemented a couple of years ago has helped keep, literally keep a lid on trash. And a number of other steps that we've taken along the way have helped as well. Uh, but, but there's no substitute for people just taking it upon themselves to clean up uh, in order to make our city uh, as clean as it possibly can be. Uh, and the, the last thing is, uh, I hope everybody has a happy holiday weekend uh, with their families. And uh, spring is here, and we're looking forward to that. You can put your snow shovels away now. Thanks, everybody.